Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to a new video. I'm just getting ready today because I'm gonna film something for Will for selfie a day. I literally just took my makeup bag out of my backpack for the first time since we got down here last Monday. So it's been like eight days and I haven't even touched it. So I don't wanna do too much cause I'm just like filming a little clip for Will and then I'm planning on spending the rest of the day down by the dock. It's supposed to be 30 degrees and sunny today. So it's like the perfect day to go and enjoy the water so yeah we're just gonna do this little bit of work this morning and then i'm hoping to just relax for the rest of the day my skin's actually doing really well right now i don't have any acne really happening so just gonna cover up some scars and discoloration with this nice lightweight concealer i'm feeling like crap <laughs> physically oh uh, had a terrible sleep last night. Will was having trouble sleeping. So when that happens, he kind of rolls around and can't sit still. And that keeps me awake. He got up and out of bed a couple of times. And then I got woken up this morning at 5.30 in the morning by mosquitoes in our room. Don't ask me where they suddenly came from at 5.30 in the morning, but I got up and killed one and tried to go back to sleep and then there was another one lurking that I just could not find. I'm pretty exhausted in that way. In another way, I'm feeling a little bit better today. I've been feeling really down uh, the last week just with everything going on in the world and yeah, it was really affecting me. But um, I don't know, my brain is feeling kind of relaxed about that today. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Too Faced concealer, it's more full coverage, just to cover up these dark spots over here because that lightweight concealer didn't really do the trick. I had some plans for some videos to film up here for during our last two weeks, but they're all pretty lighthearted and kind of like funny and like challenge type videos and I just haven't really been in the mood to film that kind of video. So I figured I would just start another vlog today instead. Okay, there we go. Just something like quick and natural, almost like a no makeup makeup, just trying to like enhance my features and just not look like a mess. <laughs> uh, but still wanted it to look like really natural, so yeah. That's what we're gonna go with. Remember put your nose on the middle cross. The sun is too direct. have single grid on, which mm -hmm. I should already have. Okay. Alright, that's done. We'll just need, need some content for 
creating ads for Selfie a Day. We both just filmed a couple little clips and yeah, I'm pretty much free to enjoy my day now. Should we head down to the water? Maybe. the last thing I need. Broken camera, broken phone. Yesterday I saw a bunch of cool animals down here. There was a mink. He was kind of swimming along the shoreline here and like going up in the bushes and that was really cool and then there was this crazy duck like this kind of duck i've never seen before she came out into the water here with all her little babies and they were all kind of floating around and then as she swam out into more of like the open water over here they all kind of like went single file behind her it was so cool to watch and she had so many babies i think there was 11 babies so cute hopefully we get some more animal spottings today we're kind of playing like animal bingo. It's just trying to like collect as many animal spottings as we can while we're up here. We've seen a ton of cool stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and read for a bit. I think something that really helped me feel a lot better like mentally, like why I feel less mentally exhausted today is that I tried to stay off my phone yesterday. The last week I've just been like on my phone all day, every day, reading Instagram, reading the news, watching videos. And it's to do that, to spend like all day, every day on that is very like mentally exhausting. And I've definitely been feeling that. Yesterday I started reading this random book. Uh, it's not the best but I read like half the book yesterday and I just feel so much better today like having not been on my phone for most of the day yesterday so planning on doing that again today probably just finish this and then yeah basically just trying to stay off my phone hello it is much later in the day it's probably almost five o'clock I spent quite a few hours sitting down by the water which was really nice and then went and had lunch we had tacos for dinner last night and we had leftover like taco stuff so we just had tacos for lunch. I figured I would just head back down here. I actually ended up going up because I started getting attacked by, I don't know, black flies or deer flies or all the flies. So they found me and they wouldn't leave me alone so I had to go in. So I'm coming down to try this again. We haven't seen any fun animals yet today which is kind of sad. Okay, the fish are jumping over here, so I'm just gonna set you here. My battery's dying, so I don't know how long you're gonna be able to sit here for, but maybe we can see some fish jumping. I just saw a couple jump, and I can see them swimming here, all these big fish. No luck, guys. They don't wanna be seen. I think it's even hotter down here now than it was before, which is just fine by me. All right guys, I'm heading back up. We're good this time, I think. Will had a call at five, so I'm hoping he's finished and I'm not gonna interrupt him. I was planning on having a glass of wine after my day in the sun today, but I was feeling so crappy when I woke up this morning. That way, again, my battery is dying, so.
guys, it's the next day. We all just left to go for a walk. It's so cute. He has this one friend who he used to always go on long walks with in the city. And since the pandemic, they've been going for walks like separately, but talking on the phone during the walk. And I think it's like so cute that they're still like doing their walk and talk thing. It is a new day today. It's like 2 p.m. now. I'm just gonna start making some lunch. I'm gonna make some tomato soup, but I always like to add rice to my tomato soup just to like bulk it up a little bit. And I don't have any rice pre-made, so I'm just gonna make some rice first. Yesterday after I stopped vlogging, we heard this noise in the yard. Justin the beaver was back. He was walking around in the yard picking up sticks. It was so cool. I didn't get any footage of him in the yard, but I did run out there and film him once he was like down swimming in the water. So I'll put that footage in for you guys. Since I tried to find a cool animal to show you yesterday, I did end up finding one after all, which was pretty cool. I got to hang out there and watch him swim around for so long. It was so cool. I love seeing all the animals up here. It makes me so happy. I'm just gonna go rinse this rice. Do you guys rinse your rice? I never did until like a year ago and I saw someone doing it on YouTube and yeah, it's gross how dirty the water is when you rinse it. So I always just like fill it up with water and then, whoops, and then whisk it. power just went out. It's been like going on and off like that all morning. Ugh, it scares me. Is it okay to use the gas when the power is like that? I think so. Gas is different, right? Yeah, so the weather is like totally different today. It rained so hard this morning that it actually woke me up. It was pouring rain. And yeah, we woke up, we woke up and it was like super cloudy and windy. It's but it's still really humid, so it's very hot still. Um, I think it's like 33 degrees, but it's like cloudy and very windy, and yeah, like super humid. You can see like how like glowy my skin looks. Just, I don't have moisturizer or anything on, it's just because the air has so much moisture in it, so my skin is just so like hydrated. It's like I'm on vacation, which is fabulous. But yeah, like the lake is all wavy. There's like white caps and stuff. It's just, yeah, it's kind of cool like when you stand outside, it's super hot and the wind is blowing on you and it feels, it's like warm wind and it reminds me of when we were in Thailand and we were riding our like motorcycle around Pai and it was just like so hot but like the wind from riding the motorcycle was blowing in your face. It was just such a unique feeling and that's kind of what it feels like when it's like so hot here and the wind is blowing. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of reminding me of trips. Like it also reminds me of being on a boat in Mexico. Yeah, um, I've just been working all morning. I've been editing. I was supposed to put up my Char full face of Charlotte Tilbury video last week and I didn't because of um, the Black Lives Matter movement that was happening online and I didn't want that to be the first video I put up since that movement happened because I just wanted to like, I, did, I don't know, I'm very excited and like happy in the video and that's not really how I was feeling at the time that I was supposed to be uploading that video earlier this week so I've been sitting on it for a while and I just keep going back and editing it again so now I've edited it like a bunch of times. I've really like cut it down, made it very like... I don't know, it's been nice to have like a lot of time to work on it, but I did finish that today, I exported it, so I'll probably upload it overnight tonight and then uh, post it tomorrow. And then I've just been editing this vlog, so I edited all the footage from yesterday. We are starting to run out of food. We're supposed to stay here until Monday. Today is Wednesday. And yeah, we are definitely running out of vegetables. I don't have much left. We have a ton of like pasta and I have like a bunch of this like fake meat, but I don't have very many vegetables left. So I don't know. We're supposed to stay till Monday because I want to go and see Jackie's baby. Um, and then that will have been a two week quarantine. But if we run out of food, like we can't stay. So I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to try and make it work. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much why I'm having tomato soup for lunch because I don't really have, I don't want to use any vegetables in our lunch. I'll save them for dinner. Anyways, I'm just blabbing now, so I will catch up with you guys later, I guess. Wow. 
Hey guys, so last night we ended up having a huge storm. It was like crazy high winds, lots of rain, lightning, thunder. And we ended up losing power, which was fun for like the first five minutes and then suddenly became less fun. So we had no power last night, uh, which meant we had no water. I just got up. Will's been up on the phone with his dad all morning. Uh, there's a generator up here. So... There's a little generator sitting out there on the hill. I don't want to zoom too much because zoom uses a ton of my battery, but you can see the generator sitting up there. And he's got this cord coming in from the door to the fridge so that at least um, the fridge has power. And then it's plugged into a power bar so we can like charge our phones and we can like use his computer for work. But we have no water, which is not ideal. So from when Will was Ubering, he had a, um, like a big bag of plastic water bottles in the car for Uber people to drink. So that's what we have. <laughs> so the company who gives hydro, or the company who gives power to the cottage has a website that shows like a map of where there are power outages and we can see that there is an outage in our area and it says like it's pretty cool it says how many people are affected what caused the outage and how long it's going to take until the power comes back on although I'm sure that's not a very trustworthy number uh, our power is out due to a fallen tree and they expect the power to come back on by 4 p.m. It used to say 6 p.m. So the fact that they moved it up to 4 p.m. this morning is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. But we can't stay here forever if the power doesn't come back on today. So we'll see. Okay, quick update. It's almost noon. We had to pull out this space heater because... We have to leave the door open so that the cord from the generator can come into the house and it's cold. <laughs> All of a sudden there was just like a beeping sound and the space heater turned off and the fridge is off. So the generator stopped working. So Will's out there trying to get the generator going. I have a feeling it's out of gas. Um, also, I'm just making some little sandwiches. We don't really have much food left, but I'm making some little like wraps so i had some bell pepper cucumber the last of our cucumber pickles there's hummus on the bottom and then i'm just frying up some tofu and some of those fake bacon to put inside as well just like all of our meals are going to be kind of makeshift for the next few days hopefully we can make it until monday when we're supposed to go home okay update will is currently lighting me with his headlamp uh it is now 9 36 p.m I'm making dinner in the dark. <laughs> I'm trying to make stir fry over here. I'm trying to boil noodles over here. It's a whole thing. Uh, so the estimate was for 4 p.m. for the power to come back on, but uh, yeah, that obviously didn't happen. And I can see online that they're not even working on it yet. So it's been 24 hours now with no power. We had to turn off the generator because we couldn't leave the door open after it got dark out because of the mosquitoes coming into the cottage. So we had to close the door, turn off the generator. So we are now on like zero power, living our best life. Um, I really wanted to end this vlog today with some good news of the power coming back on, but yeah, I guess we're not going to do that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or if the power comes back on tonight, I will let you know then, but I doubt it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. What time did I just say it was and I said it wasn't gonna come back it came back. I'm so happy I'm so happy. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video Don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it too and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys